Carmen Ghia. RS, an explosive mixture of Volkswagen and Porsche parts, even unique in the world. One takes a racy Volkswagen body, well hung and pumped full of Porsche engineering. Jochen Bader has done exactly that with his 1970 Carmen Ghia, a classical hybrid of the absolutely special kind. Then I came across this engine at a low price, six cylinder, power in excess and all strong and durable. But then I decided to build a car for it. And that is, this engine doesn't fit into a Beetle, that was clear. And then I came across the Carmen and then quickly found that it had to go in there. The sober facts. 321 horsepower from a displacement of 3.6 liters, a six-speed transmission, and a top speed beyond 300. Would you like to go for a ride? I'll get my hat. That chance is the Carmen Ghia. It has an economical, dependable Volkswagen engine in a racy, romantic, <laughs> and finished body. But best of all, instead of having seats for four, the Carmen Ghia only has seats for two. Only two. And the Carmen Gear was originally a good little coupe with a maximum of 50 horsepower, which is hard to find in its original condition in the overtaking lane. However, the sleek Volkswagen develops into the favorite of women in the 60s. Under Bader's guidance, the Carmen Gear project develops into the Carmen Projectile. The result, a 40-year-old VW with the performance of a current Porsche. The Rapid Oldie shoots its ammunition on the highway because on a free section, the silver one is able to reach over 300 kilometers an hour. The Carmen has inherently good aerodynamics. Even fast modern contemporaries have to vacate the left lane. Jochen Bader is used to perplex gazes. Even if you cut up a Porsche or a Daimler, they're still excited and laugh at me. You consistently get positive feedback. People raise their thumbs and say, this is simply a great to be able to drive fast with a car like this. The mechanical design engineer worked on his classical hybrid for four years. Two former students of automotive engineering helped. Without Stefan Detling and Andreas Köhler, Jochen Bader would have failed. Suspension, brakes, aerodynamics, that can't be done alone. This car is even the subject of their dissertation work. By far the most difficult is to estimate how safe the vehicle is at speeds over 200 kilometers an hour. Because the forces with the speed can no longer be estimated at some point. One helps with a so-called prototype front spoiler to catch the lift, because the vehicle has a natural tendency to lift up. The platform frame of the VW Beetle has always formed a good basis for convergence, and the Carmen Ghia, built from 1956 to 74, also uses Volkswagen technology. And this enables the optically quick 2 plus 2 seater to produce a maximum of 50 horsepower in the production version, and it drags itself up to a peak of nearly 150. Nevertheless, the Carmen developed a model for success. About 400,000 left the Carmen factory halls in Osnabrück until 1974, when the successor, the Scirocco, was in the starting blocks. Except for the 18-inch wheels, Jochen Bader's creation presents itself visually as a series standard. Only upon closer inspection does the pipework in the rear window give at least a hint of something out of the ordinary.
Otherwise, Jochen Bader has realized his credo of why get noticed unnecessarily, perfectly with the Carmen. The heart, an air-cooled six-cylinder boxer engine from the Porsche 993. After various modifications from the RS and Cup program, the 3.6-liter engine delivers 321 horsepower for everyday use. Porsche sound included. The interior is reduced to a bare minimum. Jochen Bade integrates a tubeless space frame in the Carmen body for reasons of statics and security, because the frame braid carries the complete Porsche technology. Under the VW shell now sits the front and rear axle of a Porsche 944 Turbo. Hardly anyone can imagine how much work, how much money, and how many nights, and how many curses are invested in a car like this. For Jochen Bade, the effort was still worthwhile. Yeah, as long as I can remember, the wolf in sheep's clothing has been the dream of many. And that began earlier in the 70s already with the Beetle and continues to this day. And if you look at the newer generation of vehicles such as the Golf, they're innately fast already and it's boring to make these even faster. No cock crows after it. But with an old car like this, 30 or 40 years old, where everyone thinks the car cannot be fast, that it cannot go 100 in a slow lane, there's still something completely different when you change into fifth gear at 200 and still have a sixth gear. Jochen prefers to explore the potential of his Carmen on a closed track. For there, he can also go to the dynamic driving limits of his creation. What the classic car scene thinks about the Porsche-powered Carmen doesn't matter to Jochen Bader. He has created something unique in the automotive world and has fun with it.